After a two-day search, the body of Trey Carter has been recovered from Lake Summit. The Henderson County teenager went under on Monday night while he was swimming with a group of friends. Dive crews pulled Trey Carter's body to shore around 3 this afternoon. News 13's Megan Shearing joins us live with tonight's top story. Megan, friends and family finally get some closure. Yeah, that's right, Darcel. It has been a long 48 hours for those close to Trey Carter. And now that the 19-year-old's body has been recovered, they finally have some peace. Trey Carter's loved ones gathered at North Henderson High School Wednesday night, just hours after dive crews recovered the 19-year-old's body. His mother, overcome by grief, needed help as she walked around to read all the messages left to her son. Trey's best friend, Morgan Swanson, also offered Trey's mother some support. She just got recently got back from seeing him, and she's just, she's a little tore up. But as you can see, the green balloon over there I signed for, and it just says, to my number one son, we love you so much. I'll see you soon. The last 48 hours has been a nightmare for Trey's friends and family. All they could do is sit back and watch rescue crews furiously search Lake Summit for his body. We want to make sure the family has closure on it as much as we do, and uh, that's the whole reason why you do this job. Several different agencies were called in to help the local dive teams because the conditions in the water were so bad. And in the end, it was high-tech sonar equipment brought in by the Charlotte Fire Department Wednesday that helped pull Trey's body to shore. It's higher powered because it's research grade, and it makes the image more clear and gives you the ability to actually talk to the diver while they're on the bottom and tell them where to go. Authorities say the state medical examiner's office will now perform an autopsy on Trey, which creates another waiting game for friends and family. But time spent now will be used to remember the teen who was always smiling, loved everyone, and was a tremendous sport in every situation. Just live for Trey. That's all we can do. Let him live through us and just know that he's thinking of us and watching over us every single day. And as we come back out here live, there will be a basketball game at North Henderson High School on Saturday. The money raised uh, that day will go to help pay for Trey's funeral. And later that night, there will be a candlelight vigil held in his honor. Reporting live in Henderson County tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.